It's your boy Superman 2000. Had to rock the brim hat today. Had to rock the brim hat today. Listen, man, I'm excited. George St. Pierre is back in the UFC. The deal is officially signed. Now I say to myself, it is one more person for Conor McGregor to run from. I don't think Conor McGregor want none of that. It's not going to happen. Now, the reason why I say this is one more person for Conor McGregor to run from is because that was a super fight that was planned at one time, but George St. Pierre wanted too much money. Now Conor McGregor has inked the deal, is trying to reach the agreement with Mayweather. They both said they're going to fight. The money isn't the issue anymore, but he's trying to make the money without Dana White, and that's not going to happen. The UFC wants their cut. And so he, the rumor has it, is a third party that's holding up the agreement, even though Mayweather and Conor McGregor have reached a, an agreement about the money and the fight and how it's going to go down. So, uh, like I said before in my last video, McGregor is trying to use the Ali act to fight without the consent of the UFC, but that's not going to work for him because, like I said before, they're going to time up in, in, in legal paperwork to say, hey, you have an obligation to not fight in boxing if that's going to jeopardize our financial interest in you and what you're on a contract to do for us. So he, he's going to have to complete his contract with the UFC first or they're going to bury him in paperwork. Dana White even said it's going to get nasty. So he doesn't want that beef. I guarantee he doesn't want that. So more than likely, he's either going to either run from Khabib and try to fight Woodley or just try and go to boxing. I mean, boxing is going to be the best bet for him now because it's less damage. I believe, I, I, let, me, let me take that back. It's it's less damage because when you get knocked down, there's a 10 count. You know, it's, 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 there's, there's no 10 count in the UFC. And when you get knocked down, if you have a concussion, that other person can jump on top of you and smash you in pieces while you're unconscious. So it's a bit more dangerous, bit more, much, much more dangerous. Uh, uh, rules in boxing are much, much more strict. And financially, it will work out better for him because he'll be able to get a full breakdown or an accounting of his money and where it's going. So I believe right now, St. Pierre coming back, the UFC is going to want to set up a fight between George St. Pierre and Conor McGregor off the break because that's going to be a blockbuster. Anderson Silva said he wanted to fight St. Pierre at one time, but that's not the fight that's going to sell right now. I think the fight that will sell right now is Conor McGregor versus St. Pierre. And I could call that fight right now and tell you that GSP is going to get the W off it. Happy he's back. Hopefully Conor McGregor will be able to... Uh, listen, I don't want him to fight Mayweather because I believe that that just cheapens the sport that any guy can walk in off the street and just um fight. In, you know, Anybody can walk in off the street and just get a boxing match and start fighting. And in addition to that, I'd rather see Conor McGregor in the UFC defending his title and fighting mixed martial arts like he's trained to. But on the same note, as a ma family man myself, the other side of me say, hey, if this guy can make more money out of the UFC and um, be able to provide for his family long term, then that's the move that I would want to say for him. And that's what I would wish for every fighter. And I think that Nick and Nate Diaz probably going to do the same thing to and try and go to the boxing world because they've been fighting for a very long time under the UFC and not being paid properly. So, I mean, if he has to do what's for his family, then I'm, I'm, all, for, I'm all for it. As a fan, I don't want to see that fight, but as an individual who hustles, I know, hey, you got to provide for your family. I'm behind you 100%, Connor. All right, guys, that's my two cents from the fight here. GSP is back. Very excited about that. And I, if he fights Connor McGregor, it's not going to go well because GSP, he has been training all this time at his father gym and training in Canada consistently. He's not taking a break. Okay, even after he retired and they interviewed him, he said, yeah, I've trained every day. I'm still going to be training tomorrow. It is what it is. So he had been planning his comeback for quite some time and been training even after he retired. So I don't see this going well for Conor McGregor. All right, guys, that's my two cents from the fight here. Peace out.